Hello and welcome to today's show. We are here and this is a look around the caravan at Seaton Sands. So I have to park here, then go down this path. And this is the caravan. It's a minstrel, two bedroom. So when I arrived there was a sticky across here saying it was cleaned and when you come in, if you turn this way, this is the main bedroom. I have turned on all the lights because it's the morning. So we start with a heater behind the door, bench, mirror, wardrobe with two drawers, mirror, the window and the bed comes with four pillows and it was laid out in this fashion. When I arrived we have coat hooks here but there's only a foot between the bed and the wall so if you put any coats on that you got to knock them off. So this is the second bedroom which is right next door Two, two foot six beds and the wardrobe which goes halfway with the fire below. Bo both the bedrooms have a brown like flecked carpet, mirror and two hooks here. Next we come to the bathroom, we start with the heater and some hooks, the toilet, and when I arrived the blind was off. Let's get this back with the blind off, not that it lets much more light in. The toilet seat was of course down with our usual sticker on it. The shower and the sink with mirror and shave points and a small shelf from here. This is for your cleaning stuff. This big one is for the heater for the water and the central heating with a dryer below and a dustpan and brush on the door. Now we are entering the kitchen bit. Of course, have that small window above the sink. Below we have a recycling thing which I didn't use because we weren't given any bags and there's no recycling bins to put the stuff in. We have a grater, some glass dishes and a set of three pans and lids and a colander. Above the sink these doors don't stay open so you have to keep them open. That's your main plates. The next cupboard along is your soup bowls and plates. This doesn't open because it's part of the extractor fan. The next cupboard has the cup and the glasses. There's six of well, there's six cups in there and there's two out here. We have cheap generic toaster and kettle and my kettle doesn't work. 
it when you turn it on it instantly just clicks back off so behind us that we walk past and that's in line with the sink is the fridge with a little freezer compartment and the microwave hello you can see me in the microwave with a small deep cupboard behind it now on here this was where we had this little plastic bag with this which just says inside this pack you find an orange bag for laundry, a clear bag for rubbish, um, antiviral wipes. On your departure, please be kind to ask you to strip the bed of all linen and put it into the orange bag. Remove all rubbish and place in the clear bag uh, in the bin, which is right beside where my car is parked. And bugger off out of the... I mean, vacate the caravan by 10am and lock it on exit and put the key in the drop-off point which is a bin where technically it's it's like a bin on the exit door so that is your customer care pack that's your wipes which I'll wipe down whatever I've touched if I can remember everything but so this table was actually further up when I arrived and only one stool was here but I brought the other stool which was over there. So this is the seating area which runs now the full length to here. We have these lovely curtains which have written on every single haven park there is. And as you see, you don't really have that much of a view out of the window. And my window has a bit of a dirt outside. Even out of that window, you have a bit of woodland. And out the kitchen window, you have nothing but more caravans. So you don't have the nicest of views in any direction. As we say, 32 inch um, CELO C -E -L -L -O TV with very, very few channels. I think it comes to about 20 channels. Even though it's a few free view box, a small plastic dustbin and a telly stand for no telly because it's on the wall. So they might as well have just put some other cabinet there or something. But we have our spotlights and our mirror and that's for getting to the shower pipes to turn off the tap. So with that, that is our look around the caravan. Fine for what it is, but Seat and Sands site fees are a lot of money. To make it clear, I know what the site fees are. They start at £4,900. It is an 8 month, 32 weeks season, which means today, when I leave, nobody else is coming in the caravan until March. Uh, because this is the final week so it's going to be drained down like I do with mine and then print them off walls until next year but £4,900 probably for this pitch because they can't be anything cheaper than this pitch because I can't park next door to the caravan plenty of the others you can you can get right next door to your caravan and park but here no, I have to park there and walk around so I can't physically see. So, with that, the dearest pitch. Then, probably those nice ones with the water feature and up at the top of the park beside the golf course or the double sized ones that are up there. Those are £9,500 or £300 a week. Boy, you're going to have to be earning something. Because that's £1,200 a month just to have your caravan. That's not without buying it. Because the cheapest caravan here is £36,000. Which is a massive amount of money for, for a caravan. And the dearest one, which was just like a one bedroom, is £90,000. So £90,000 for the caravan. 
nine and a half for the site fees plus you got council tax which was another 230 odd pound then you've got the gas which for this caravan is bottled which is if you take it 75 pound a bottle now this caravan has central heating and all the gas and all of that you can burn a gas bottle in a week easy because we had a friend who had gas bottles and they would turn their heating on and they will get through a bottle a week so I know a gas bottle will probably just last around about a week at 75 quid a shot. The more expensive parts of the caravan site they have piped gas which means that they can get it at a cheaper price. So with that thank you for watching our tour around the part of Seaton Sandy Sands. Seaton Sands it's soon in the morning. I would have done this when I arrived as an intro into what I but being that it was half past five and pitch black, you wouldn't have seen any of this. And yes, it's probably looking a tiny bit yellowy because the lights are actually a tiny bit yellowy. Well, some of them are and some of them are white. So I could look a bit yellowy, but that's because the lights are yellow, except for that one over there, which is white. You know, this one over here. This one here, you see this one here? This one gives off more light, as you see. This one's white. All the rest are yellow. Can't work that out, but the yellow ones don't give off as much light, as you can see. So, with that, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.